What's up, everyone? First off, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hope you're enjoying the holiday, however you choose to spend it. Well, yesterday, Psy Games dropped the uh, Dragalia Direct on us, which had a countdown, which is very weird, because uh, that's not something they'd done before. So I was like, I wonder what they're going to announce. Now, the Direct itself wasn't that big, actually. It seemed, uh, I don't know, I thought, I, I guess I expected a lot more. We got something that was very big, which is the Monster Hunter crossover, which I'm super excited for. So, definitely not saying anything bad about that. Of course, it's just, you know, with a countdown, all the build-up, I was thinking, like, man, they didn't even do a countdown for, like, the anniversary one. This could be ridiculous. Well, anyway, a lot of stuff did get announced, including new information on the new Ajito raid that's coming up, uh, the Six Mana Circle, or now it's called the Six Mana Spiral, and new information on the upcoming events. Uh, for this video, I really want to focus on the things besides the Mana Circle, because I feel like that's a lot of stuff to talk about that I can kind of go into more detail with, so I kind of want to do that separately. But the first of these, and the big one for this one, is the Ajito Uprising raids that are coming out. So they call it a new really powerful fight, and it's going to give us the ability to craft six star rarity weapons, which honestly is crazy that we're already going to six star. It's been a year. <laughs> like, I I look at Masters, like, it's crazy that their level cap increased to 120. It hasn't even been a year in Masters. In Dragalia, we're getting a level cap increase, and we're getting six star rarity weapons, which is like, uh, after, because, like, you have to think, a lot of the player base does not have base high dragon weapons like not even like tier twos because like me i have all the tier twos except the dark one i'm working on that one right now but i have all of them besides that and a lot of player base doesn't like i joined rooms i have like 8k might on most of the units i use in co-op rooms i'm at 8k might most people i play with are like 6k 5 4k like not many people are at that level so they're already making another weapon tier that i feel like has to be stronger it's it's i don't i don't know it's weird because like how do you put in new weapons and make them weaker than already existing content? People wouldn't care. So I feel like this has to be stronger, and making this stronger makes High Dragons more easier to do. Because the reason a lot of player base doesn't have it, the High Dragon Trials are not very friendly to people when you're not in a group. Like, if you're just trying to pug them, those are not pug-friendly fights. Like, especially Jupiter. Although, they also nerfed Jupiter in this patch coming up. So they made it so his Amplify ability doesn't remove debuffs, which makes other units better, but also buffs Galicleo, because, like, he put defense down on him. I, they might have changed something else with that, but the, my extent of the knowledge that I know of it is that it just doesn't remove debuffs anymore when you cast Amplify. So only when he goes into Overdrive, like, everything else. It's really weird that he had, like, the exclusive ability, just like, yeah, these debuffs you put on me, yeah, they're gone. It's just a really weird thing that only Jupiter could do for some reason. It also raises the question for me of, like, what's the difficulty of the Ajito fight? So the first one being Volk's Wrath, with Volk being a win-based enemy that has, like, this poison effect. Now, it's pretty cool that they actually released a video on Twitter, but in the video it said Volk's Wrath standard. <laughs> so the first thing we're getting is the standard difficulty on the website. It says that the required might is 22k. Now, Expert High Dragons are 20k, and then Master High Dragons are 24k. So the standard of this sits between those two. That means it's probably pretty hard, because experts alone, a lot of people can't do expert high dragons. They're not ridiculous, but they're pretty hard. And Volk looks like he has a ton of stuff going on. He has this new poison effect. He kind of has the void enemy thing, where you can see, like, two debuffs things on the screen. One of them is the poison thing. The other one's like a fang thing that we don't know what that does. Also, he fixed sleep. So we see that in this uh, video that he is sleep-based, which means the uh, smithing sisters are going to be... Uh, very happy about this, and a lot of people who built weapons for them, because they were meta for Midgar, are going to be in good shape for this. And on top of this, the website also goes into more detail on how to actually craft the Ajito weapons. So, it's very similar to the High Dragon weapons, where it's at the bottom in its own little area. But also, they require mats, or you have to make a wet Well, first, yes, they need mats from the Ajito fight, which I'm guessing is just standard, because the website says that uh, difficulty level for Volk's Wrath and Tier 2 and higher enhancements for the weapons will be added in the future. So... We're getting standard now, we're going to get more than just standard coming up, and then we're going to get stronger versions of the weapon. So farming standard is going to get you a 6 star weapon. And to make the weapon, you have to make a 5 star weapon, a tier 2 5 star weapon from the Volcanic Chimera, which is a new uh, void battle they're adding, which also in this patch we're getting expert void battles. So I got to do all those, because that's also going to give you mats for 6 mana circle for your adventures. But the Void Chimera is the first of a new line of Void uh, fights. And these weapons are between... I'm trying to remember how they exactly they said. They're, oh yeah, they're between the core weapons, so the base 5-star elementals we have now, and the High Dragon weapons. So this is the stepping stone in between them. So I feel like if this is stepping stone in between them, Ajito has to be higher than that, right? It wouldn't make sense to put two weapons in between High Dragon. Maybe 
maybe the like the Ajita weapon won't be as strong as like a tier two. So if you have like a tier two weapon, maybe that's better than the Ajito weapon. But I don't know. I like there's another thing about them, but I'll get back to it in a second. So the Volcanic Chimera gives the in-between weapons, and to craft these, you need a Flame Attune Five Star weapon from the Manticore. So hope you were doing the double drops of Manticores while those were going on, because you're gonna need the Manticore mats to make the Void weapon for the Chimera. You need to make the Void weapon for Chimera to be able to make an Ajito weapon. Uh, something else they said is that uh, the Ajito weapons. Also, Volk gives us flame attuned weapons, so he actually gives you weapons to defeat himself, which is... Actually, that's kind of weird. I just thought about that. Yeah, so why does the... So the wind boss gives you weapons that are good against himself. So that's that's kind of odd. That's the first time Dragalia's kind of done that. Normally, it's like a loop where you do one and you go around. This is like the first time where they made a weapon that is good against the thing that you're already fighting. So I guess it makes it easier to do his higher difficulties of himself. So maybe it's more instead of going in a loop, you could fight the same one and get up. So I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I didn't really pay attention to that before. But the thing I wanted to say is that the skills on the weapons actually switch effects after each use, which is like kind of the first time they've done that. So they've done that in adventures where the skill shifts, but never on a weapon. So this could actually be really powerful in different ways because I think... A lot of the high dragon weapons, I mean, I don't mind because I want damage abilities, but a lot of the high dragon weapons are like, this does damage, and then this does damage. Even the healer ones do damage instead of having like an extra heal. So besides the two new boss battles with expert void battles, the Chimera, and Ajito, we're actually getting news of two new events that are coming out. So first is a sweeping retrospective, which uh, not too much is known. I mean, you fight fiends, I think you just get rewards, so it's probably maybe going to be like... This year in Dragalia Lost is going over stuff that has happened, and we're going to get rewards for doing it, so that's always good. The next one is the next New Year's event, and it's the Year of the Rats. We have the Rat Adventurer and a Rat Dragon, and that one's going to be called a Clawful Caper. So as you weren't around before, this was where Ieyasu and Marishiten came in. So now we have the, two, the new uh, Mouse Adventure, or Rat Adventure, and Rat Dragon, and the boss is a cat who is in the video they showed us is a shadow enemy, and the mouse is light. Also, something else you can see in the video is the mouse actually has a 10% attack speed buff to themselves. So I'm very curious what weapon they are, because I don't I don't think I can really tell from looking, but I hope they're a dagger, because I like daggers. They probably won't be, but you know, maybe. There's also something with Iyasu I don't really understand, where you get like these letters and you exchange them for prizes. So when when the more information is about that, I'm very interested in it. But like right now, I don't really get that. So I can't, can't say too much on that. And finally, the, we got the uh, new showcase style, a prize showcase. So what this is, when you pull on it, you actually get bonus prizes. Now, I don't know if you have to pull using Dimantium. Because normally in Grand Blue, these kind of things are Dimantium. But this is a summon showcase, so I don't think so. Because this is coming in as the old one's fading out. So I think this will actually be... You can just pull. And the focus are three of the new uh, six mana circle characters. So the Veed, Ezolith and Cassandra and when you pull you actually get bonus rewards so there's three there's like platinum gold silver and bronze doesn't really say what bronze is here oh it says there's also a fifth and sixth prize so I don't know what those are but platinum gives you a sunstone and Damascus ingot oh sorry you get one of the following you get a sunstone or a Damascus ingot and gold you get sunlight ore times five gold key times two or twinkling sand times seven the Ajita weapons use twinkling sand so I hope you kept some because we're gonna be needing it uh, Silver Prize, you get Champion Testament times 2, Sunlight Ore times 2, Damascus Crystal times 2, and Moonlight Stone times 2. So, lots of cool things and just free stuff in general. So, that's going to be interesting to pull on. I really hope it's... Because the Grand Blue style, like I said, these kind of things require you to use currency, like actual money. But Dragalia is not really that way. So, I, I imagine this is just going to be something where we can just pull. We're also getting like 80 free pulls so like eight days of 10 pulls which a lot of it will probably be on this banner and yeah that's it for like the general overview of what how everything went obviously for me super excited for Ajito because I love like raid content and all that stuff super excited for new weapons although I feel like it's really soon I'm very excited to see how those play out and I'm especially excited for Monster Hunter and getting Rathalos <laughs> in uh in Dragalia because they announced Rathalos is going to be joining our team now I imagine he's just going to be a dragon transformation don't know how they make him a playable character. It'd be interesting, but uh, I don't think they're going to do that. And also the fact that now Rathalos is in Smash, 
which is funny because Marth, Mega Man, and Rathalos are all in Dragalia, who are also in Smash. But Rathalos is in Smash, Rathalos and Dragalia lost, Rathalos is in Final Fantasy. <laughs> but Rathalos, I don't know, Rath like, I love Monster Hunter. It's one of my all-time favorite series. So, the more representation it gets, the better. So, excited for that. Can't wait to see how this all plays out. Hope we catch you guys next time.